Hello friends, this is Good Hacker. Here I'm going to show you how to solve lead code coding problem palindrome number. The problem description is that we need to write a function to determine whether an integer, an input integer, is a palindrome number. We need to do that without extra space. Extra space here means the space complexity should be O1, should be constant. It should not be on or something even worse than that. So, what is a palindrome number? A palindrome number is a number that remains the same when its digits are reversed. So, the number like 1, 2, 3, when it's reversed, it's a 3, 2, 1. It's not, a, it's not the same, so it's not a palindrome number. So number like 1, 2, 2, 1, it's reverse, still 1, 2, 2, 1. It's a reverse, uh, it's a palindrome number. So number like the uh, negative numbers, like minus 1, 2, 3, minus 1, 2, 2, 1, they are not, they are not a palindrome number by the definition. And the numbers end up with a 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 0. They are not palindrome number because we could never have a number start with a 0. So we need to have a process to do the reversing, to complete the reverse processing. So here I will list the three columns to expand our reverse mechanism. And the reversed three columns. One is a number, remainder, and the reversed. So at the beginning, we use the example one, two, three, the remainder and reverse, both the zero. One, two, three divided by ten. That's twelve. One, two, three. Module by 10, it's 3. And reverse, we add a remainder to the previous reverse. That's a 3. And 12 keep divided by 10, and we get 1. 12 divided by uh, 10, we get 2. And we add a remainder to the previous reverse. Previous reverse, just one digit, that's 3. And uh, it should multiply by 10. And we add 2 here, becomes a 2 digits reverse number. And 1 keep divided by 10, get 0, 1 modulated by 10, and get 1. So we update the reverse number. And that's a 3, 2, 1. So the mechanism is that. Uh, we need to keep div divide the input number divided by 10 and we keep track of the remainder and add to the reverse. And then we, uh, when, we, when the number reaches to the zero, we finish our reversing. Okay, let's go back to the problem. And here I'm going to do coding in Java. As we just discussed that, if the input number is a negative number, we should return false immediately. Besides, if the input number end up with the last digit zero, and is if it's not a zero, it should not uh, it should not be considered as a palindrome number. So if x modulated by 10 it equals to 0, we return the false. So if the positive number, we just need to complete the reverse process. At last, we compare whether the reverse value 
is equal to the original value. If it's the same, it's a palindrome number. So here we will have two variables. One is called reverse. It starts from zero. And another one is called original. We just make a record of a original input value. And we need to keep divide the input value by 10 until it reaches to zero. And every time we do this division, we need to update the reverse number. So reverse number is just the previous reverse multiply by 10 and add the new remainder. New remainder just here is x multiplied by 10. Okay, we should finish our coding. Let's make a check here. Uh, I have a negative uh, um, one, two, three, we will return false. If we have a one, two, three, uh, we have an input value one, two, three. Uh, original should be one, two, three, while x is not equals to zero. We reverse here. The first reverse should be zero multiplied by 10 and then pass the remainder 3 and uh, it's 12 and we do another time 3 multiplied by 10 and add the remainder 2 and then x keep divided by 10 that's 1 and another time we divide uh, multiply by 10 and multiply by 10 and add the last remainder that's uh, 1 and the 1 keep divided by 10, that's 0. And uh, finally, the uh, x reaches uh, 0. We jump out of the loop, and we compare the value. So reverse is uh, 3 to 1, and the origin is a 1 to 3. It's not the same, and it's not a palindrome number. We return false. We should get the result. Okay, uh, let's click the submit button. It's still in judging. Yeah, it's accepted. So this is the final code for this problem. I hope you can learn a lot from this video. Uh, get some inspirations and uh, if you have some suggestions uh, please feel free to leave a comment under this video okay thank you for your watching and bye